Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. Y'all, I've been wanting to talk about this fragrance note for a very, very long time. And what better weather to bring this fragrance note in. We're gonna be discussing the note of cardamom today. I absolutely love, love, love cardamom in fragrances. And um, since it's like a little cold, you know, snowing in some parts of the world, you know, maybe negative zero or below, below zero, if that's what you all call it. I'm in California. So right now it's cold to me because I'm will I'm almost willing to turn on the heater, but I really don't want to ruin my fragrances. So um, <laughs> my daughter always says, mom, I'm going to freeze to death all because of your perfume. And I'm like, uh, yeah, go buy a space heater. Okay. <laughs> because most of the heat, it really, really comes into the master bedroom, um, mainly, and not even the living room or her room. So, um, I tell her, go buy a space heater. Okay. How many of you all have that issue when it comes to keeping your fragrances cool? I know we're all in different parts of the house, but y'all, um, my fragrances are mainly kept in my bedroom, in cabinets in my bedroom, and I don't want the heater on in my bedroom, y'all. So um, anyway, I double up on the quotes, okay? So if you want to hear about cardamom fragrances, uh, and I have several of them that we're going to be talking about today, some amazing ones, please continue to watch, subscribe, because I know that you are. If you're not, please subscribe, help the channel grow. Follow me on Instagram, it's Marshmello. Um, We just have a lot of fun over there. I did a cardamom reel like months ago, and I was supposed to bring that fragrance in the early fall, but I didn't do it. But I'm here today doing it with you all um guys 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 so um without further ado we're gonna get into the very first one let me give you two that i have smelled and they're for men and they are cardamom bombs and i absolutely love it layton by the house of parfums de marley i have a sample of that one it's an amazing cardamom like a freshy fruity cardamom bomb um woody it's it's amazing okay but i wasn't willing to purchase a full bottle of that but i do have some like travel decants stunning fragrances i love the original layton more than i love the exclusive but they're both nice and they both have a hefty dose of cardamom then you also have uh, narciso rodriguez and i tried that one as well in the department store and it's Narciso Rodriguez for him, and it's Blue Noir. That has a hefty dose of cardamom, musky, a little blue. It's such a stunning fragrance. You all know that my designer fragrance house, my favorite designer fragrance house is Narciso Rodriguez because nobody does musk in the designer world like Narciso Rodriguez, okay? Um, so getting all of that out of the way, we're gonna talk about a newer fragrance that I uh, recently purchased, and I actually reviewed this on my Cinnamon Dominant Fragrance Review, but it has to be in here because there's a beautiful dose of cardamom, and this is uh, Jep uh, Jepu Jaipur, Jaipur, it's Jaipur Thai, um, Chai, Thai, Jaipur Chai, y'all. <laughs> Um, like I said, this is vanilla, cardamom, there's milk in here, there's a hefty dose of cinnamon here, there's chai tea. Um, this definitely smells like a cardamom bomb, but it actually smells like, there's a little bit of dryness to this fragrance, but it smells like chai tea. Uh, but it smells like you're not just as if you're drinking chai tea, but if you are smelling a chai tea bag, because there's a little bit of dryness in this fragrance. Um, and it might be the cardamom too, on top of the other mixtures of the cinnamon and everything, but I absolutely love it. I love it. Um, I don't know if I would wear this alone. Uh, I did, when I did wear this, I layered it with a vanilla and I layered it with tea to vanilla and it was amazing y'all but I love chai tea go watch that or I'll link that cinnamon fragrance review um down below make sure you watch it okay a lot of good cinnamon uh fragrances all right so this is Jaipur tea uh Jaipur chai y'all I gotta get this right all right so the next one is an honorary because it is not it doesn't list the notes of cardamom, but it has, it smells like there are tons of cardamom in here. Um, so we won't talk about it too much, but if you love cardamom, okay? Um, vanilla, boozy, smoky, woody, like sweet, um, not overly sweet, then you need to try Ray Spirited uh, by Ray's Spirit by the House of Navitus Parfums. Y'all, this fragrance smells just like cardamom to me. I already told you in a review, it reminds me of 
uh, Changing Constance by Penhaligans, also Meanway Demi, also Magenta Tanzanite, which they are all here today because they have a hefty dose of cardamom inside, y'all. But yeah, this smells like cardamom to me, okay? Uh, maybe it's just the combination of everything, but it's such an amazing price based on what we have here today. So get your nose on it. If you like cardamom, you're gonna love this fragrance, okay? Ray Spirits by the House of Navitus Parfums. All right, so the next one we have is uh, one that I just spoke about, and this is Changing Constance. This is a beautiful, vanilla spicy cardamom fragrance, and uh, it's hard to find. People always complain about the longevity on this. I've only worn this once full body, and I, I loved it. It did last me about six hours. On my clothes, I sprayed about maybe 12 times. I sprayed a little heavy, so it, it had a moderate sillage, you guys. So, um, yeah, when people say fragrances are light and they don't get a good performance, I just go in real heavy, okay? Just period, y'all. That's that's it, okay? Um, anyway, Changing Constance, a beautiful dose of vanillic, woody, cardamom, um, spicy. There's pimento in here, I think, as well. I didn't bring Menway Demi, but Menway Demi smells just like this, but a little bit more vanilla. Um, and then it's a little spicier. It's a little sweeter than this one here, but just add a little pimento, a little more vanilla, and then you'll have Miwe Demi. And then I think there's coffee in Miwe Demi as well. So um, yeah, such a beautiful, both are beautiful fragrances, all right? Get your nose on them, changing constants. So also we have one of my favorites. Um, and initially when I first sprayed this, I think the fragrance that they sent me it was not, it, it was no good. So um, I was a little disappointed. But then when they sent me out a newer bottle, the packaging looked intact and it was cleaner. Um, then I fell in love with the fragrance and then I wore it and I got so many compliments on it. And then it smelled more like a little spicy vanilla with a little powdery with the iris. I'm not a huge iris fan. So um, I was a little scared to purchase this fragrance in the long run, but most people said it smelled like a, a warm, spicy vanilla. So I went on ahead and purchased it. All right, so this is by the House of Louboutin, and this is Louis Rouge. Um, love, love, love Louis Rouge now, y'all, okay? Um, it's vanilla, it's warm, it's spicy, it's cardamom, it's iris, it's beautiful. Um, this fragrance, like I said, gets, gets me tons of compliments, and I absolutely love it, love it. Uh, I wore this at Glamcation, and every single person that I was around at Glamcation even though it was about 80 something degrees outside, I still wore it. Um, they absolutely loved it. What do you have on? What do you have on? I was like, oh, I have on Louis Rouge. Um, after the review that I gave it, I still wore it. <laughs> anyway, and then I received um, the one that was exceptional, okay? Um, anyway, this fragrance is really good. It's a little powdery, creamy, a beautiful dose of cardamom, vanilla, and the iris is not lipsticky. It's more of a creamy iris than a, a makeup -y iris y'all um so the next one we have is intoxicated um intoxicated has a beautiful dose i have this in a travel automizer um so it was cheaper to buy this one so i decided to buy this instead of the bottle but i'm like oh sometimes i want to take a picture with this you all know that i post a lot of pictures on instagram uh, but yeah, anyway, I'm definitely not taking a picture with this, the refillable. But anyway, there's coffee, there's cinnamon in here. There's, I think there's chocolate in here, cacao. No, there's coffee, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cardamom in here. I'm thinking about Black Phantom with the chocolate, with the decadent chocolate inside. Uh, cause I both have them in these bottles. So this is a beautiful dose. You don't get a really strong coffee in this fragrance. I get a really light, um, kind of like a latte smelling coffee scent from here. Um, and cardamom, it's a cardamom bomb, y'all. So get your nose on it. If you like all those other notes, um, the cinnamon, the coffee, um, the cardamom, then you're gonna love this. Not coffee heavy though, okay? Intoxicated by the House of Killian. A little spicy from the nutmeg though. All right, so next we have um, Memoirs of a Perfume Collector. Y'all know that I love this fragrance now, okay? Um, this is a lifer, and this is A Night in Marrakesh, okay? So A Night in Marrakesh, it's beautiful. You have your coffee, you have a hefty dose of cardamom, you have some honey, saffron, some labdanum, some woody notes, there's a little bit of oud in here as well but you definitely get a hefty dose of a little bit of a, a dry cardamom in here. Slightly sweetened by vanilla though. 
Y'all, this is such an amazing fragrance. Get your nose on it. Memoirs of a, perf a Perfume Collector, A Night in Marrakesh. So the next one we have is, I wanna go in order so I don't forget anything. Energetically New York, and this is super affordable, and this is by Zara, y'all. I love, love, love this fragrance. Energetically, actually, I did not bring Energetically New York. So anyway, we'll just talk about that one. This one is um, Creatively Shanghai, but in Energetically New York, you have your cardamom, jasmine, sandalwood, um, and it's very, it's beautiful. It's very earthy. It's airy. It's woody. You get that sweet cardamom. It's a little soapy as well. Cardamom sometimes for me can kind of mimic a little um, clean soapiness to my nose, uh, but spicy at the same time, sweet and spicy at the same time. Um, so energetically, New York is so supposedly um, very similar to La Labo Santal 33. I get that. Um, I had a little sample of that. I compared it. Um, of course, uh, Santal 33 was a little richer. Um, and this one was slightly watered down. But I got that. So um, if you want a dupe or so-called dupe for La Labo Santal 33, then you need to try Zara's Energetically New York. So the next one we have is the one that I absolutely love. And this is... Um, Creatively Shanghai. Now in Creatively Shanghai, this is the one that I love more than Energetically New York. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. This is so good, y'all. So creative, Creatively Shanghai. Maybe I'll link my Zara um, fragrance review down below for the uh, travel inspired fragrances. You get that mandarin in here. You get a hefty dose of cardamom. You get some cedar. It's super woody. Y'all, but the mandarin in here and the spicy cardamom, a little bit of like clean soapiness, it's stunning. I love this fragrance, Creatively Shanghai. Um, yeah, I would always keep this in my, um, excuse me, in my collection of fragrances. It's very bright, it's juicy, it's woody, it's a little, like I said, it's smoky from the cedar, woody from the cedar. It's mouth watering. It's like you're peeling a clementine or you're peeling one of those cuties. You know, y'all, I love this. Creatively Shanghai by Zara, okay? Super affordable. Get your nose on it. A, a beautiful dose of cardamom. Um, so the next one is, let's see, um, a Bewitching Yasmine, okay? I can't even understand my writing, you guys. All right, so Bewitching Yasmine, um, this is another fragrance. And I think that there, yeah, there's oud in here. There's some Loatian oud. So initially when I sprayed this, it wasn't a love at first sniff. Uh, but then I got the vanilla. I got the incense. I got the cardamom. I got the coffee. Um, this is, yeah, it's a little stronger than it was when I initially, yeah, now I get like a creamy coffee, the cardamom. Y'all, this is a beautiful fragrance, Bewitching Yasmine. Initially when I purchased this one, all I got was like a little oud and I got a little cardamom, but it was like dirty and it was dry. But now um, the juice has gotten so much darker, like super dark. I'm getting the sweetness. The, ooh, it's so, so good. Powdery. Yeah, this is really good. I'm going to have to sit this aside and wear this for the winter, you guys. This is amazing now. I'm I, like, I love it. Sometimes I guess you got to spray your fragrances and just sit and let them mature, you guys, because this has done the work, you know, the the oxidizing has helped it out. But y'all, I'm loving this cardamom. The Loatian Oud is not heavy. Vanilla, a light incense, no. But you get that cardamom, a little woodiness. Y'all, anyway, this is good. And this is Bewitching Yasmin by the House of Penhaligans. I know it might be a little difficult to find, but I absolutely, I love this now, y'all. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about, we talked about Creatively Shanghai. Um, so Magenta Tanzanite. So in Magenta Tanzanite, y'all know this is probably... This was 2022. I think this came out at the beginning of 2022 and I found it when I was traveling. But um, yeah, I think this might be one of my top fragrances. I'm gonna have to do a review. Uh, most loved fragrances for 2020-22. For 20, 2022, not 2020, 22. Uh, but yeah, in here you have your coffee. You have some, car oh, a hefty, hefty dose of creamy. Oh, this is so, uh, y'all. 
this is so good. This is so, so good. This and um, what is it? Uh, why can't I think of the fragrance in the red bottle? It's my favorite. My, fra my favorite two rose fragrance. Um, Rouge Malakite. Rouge Malakite. Yes. Life first for me. I'm taking these as my top 10, okay? Um, yeah, that uh, Bewitching Yasmin is good. Um, creatively, Shanghai is stunning, okay? Um, anyway, um, Magenta Tanzanite. Cardamom, ginger, coffee, uh, myrrh, cinnamon, tobacco, vanilla, tonka. It is stunning, y'all. Um, yeah, I would definitely purchase a backup bottle of this, even though I don't need it. That is how good this fragrance is. And I absolutely love it. Magenta Tanzanite, it's good. It's creamy. It's woody. It's sweet. This fragrance is giving me everything. Just like Rouge Malakite is giving me everything, y'all. Absolutely love it. Stop talking about it, okay? All right, so the next one is Sweetly Known. So in here you have your, now this one to me, um, it smells like ginger gingerbread like a crunchy darkened gingerbread you have your burnt match stick in here you have a really beautiful dose of cardamom it smells like there's all spice in here but it doesn't say it you get your cinnamon you get your caramel in here you get some vanilla you get some sugar in here as well yeah, this is definitely for the gourmand lovers, but you gotta love cardamom still uh, for this fragrance. And this is sweetly known by the House of Kerosene. All right, so the next one is Ani. Um, I think Ani, I didn't look up the notes, but from what I remember reviewing it, Ani has a hefty dose of cardamom in here. There's ginger, there's cardamom, there's vanilla in here. There's some, um, I think there's some greenness. It's like a, a I'm not, I don't want to say petite, petite grain, but it might be petit, petite grain. Um, there's some greenness in here as well. And it's such a beautiful fragrance. We talk about this one a lot. And this is Ani by the House of Nishane. Such a gorgeous fragrance. Beast mode, but the ginger, the vanilla, the greenness, the cardamom, it's absolutely amazing. Get your nose on it, Ani. So the next one is one of my favorites and my lifer, my top tens for life as well. And this is, ooh, ooh Gris Charnel, Gris Charnel. I've been talking about Gris Charnel for years. This was my very first BDK um, and I absolutely love it. There's black tea, there's cardamom, there's vanilla in here. It's such, there's some woody notes in here. This is such a stunning tea fragrance. This is actually my favorite tea fragrance. I have a couple of other ones, uh, but this one right here is my favorite tea. If you want a little more woodiness, if you want to be a little more sexy, dark, then you have its um, sexier brother um, with a little more sandalwood inside. And this is the this is the EDP, Gris Charnel, and this is the extract of Gris Charnel, yeah. But they're stunning. This one's 24 seven. I would say this one for the fall, winter, and possibly the spring if it's a little cold, but definitely for the fall, winter. But y'all, I'm rocking this one all year long. And this is Gris Charnel by the House of BDK. All right, the next one we have is Acro. And I didn't realize a weight had so much cardamom inside until I recently started wearing this. There's cardamom in here. There is vanilla in here. There's coffee. There's coffee in here. Absolutely love a weight, but you get a hefty dose of cardamom, coffee, vanilla, and lemon. Like I said, it's a little warm, spicy. This smells to me like a an ice cream cone, like a vanilla ice cream coffee, a vanilla ice cream cone, and you dunked it in like a coffee with some cardamom inside, y'all. It's beautiful. It's a little citrusy from the lemon and the opening, but then that dries down to an amazing vanilla with a tad bit of that coffee sillage, y'all. But you definitely get the cardamom all the way through. Get your nose on this one, and this is Acro Awake. This is like one of my top five uh, coffee fragrances, and I absolutely love this, y'all. It's And the Automizer is amazing on here. Check this out. Like, check this out. Look at that gorgeous very light yes yes definitely smelling like that little white um the crunchy ice cream cone with vanilla and coffee cardamom and a little bit of lemon it's good y'all so um the next one last but not least we're going to talk about um african rose and this is uh, a little expensive y'all but i had to i had to african rose um you get oh, it's so good it's almost like african leather 
but with rose and a hefty dose of cardamom. So um, in African rose, you got your saffron, you got your cardamom, bergamot, rose, geranium, you have some leather in here. It's creamy, you have some oud, you have some, um, I don't wanna say coumarin, I don't think it's coumarin. Um, you have some musk and patchouli, but this fragrance right here is a beast, okay? Um, yes, you get your rose, you get the cardamom, but this fragrance is rose and leather dominant, you know, absolutely love it. You get some vanilla, the cardamom, the oud is not heavy in here is at all, you know? I definitely get, it's African leather, basically, with a little sweetness and a beautiful, beautiful rose, like a very fresh, dewy, watery, like earthy red rose. It's gorgeous. This is not for the faint at heart. This is more for the seasoned nose of a fragrance lover, okay? Uh, because it is a beast and there's so many, it's just so intricate and such an amazing fragrance. And um, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it. African Rose by the House of Mimo Paris. Um, you can go and sample this fragrance because it is a pretty penny. You can sample this at, uh, not Saks, I think it's at Neiman Marcus. Um, yeah, try Saks or Neiman Marcus. Google one of those two, and I know they have this to where you can go and sample it. All right, that is all for my cardamom review, you all. Um, I hope you like have a lovely day. Um, like I said, leave me your favorite cardamom scent down in the comments. Um, go out to the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good, all of that. And you all check out these lovely earrings, you know. This is actually a caftan. Let me stand up. I have on jeans, but this is a caftan, you guys. Uh, purchased this at Asa Caftan. There's some um, metal jewels, some gold jewels on here. You guys know that I love me a good caftan. Um, you can wear this over a dress, over jeans, over a swimsuit, whatever. Um, it's like multi, you know, whatever, not multitasking, but um, there's many things you can do with this cat All right, bye. Yeah, you guys. All right, y'all. Now, bye. All right, you all. Go out into the world. Spread amazing. See how you do good. Be good. All that. Mm -hmm.